Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers. This is just going to be a quick rundown of this new custom saber that I was commissioned to build. Um, it's uh, mostly MH MHS parts from the custom saber shop that have been modified with uh, some grooves here and uh, a bevel in here, a new groove in here, and just some other detailing. Uh, powder coated with a carbonate color here and here, but also weathered, so it's a more of a matte finish. Um, and of course, as you can see, I'll get a closer view of this a little later. There's a crystal chassis in there with a quartz crystal and uh, some blue powder coated accent with some uh, gold and, uh, and the switches. Uh, this is an Elite GCS Saber, so it's got the Crystal Focus version 6 in here. Um, so I'll show you quickly how it operates. I've got a, a real low profile kill key here built into the pommel. It's the kill key. It's the recharge port. That's where you plug in the charger to uh, charge up your Saber. Um, as you can see when it boots up, you've got a blue glow in the crystal. Um, you can set that differently with the Crystal Focus. Um, right now it's set uh, to, uh, to pulse with this sound bank, which I believe is my Fates sound bank. A blade goes in here, blade retention screw. Opens up um, to tighten in the blade. Now the, the switches are, uh, you may not have noticed that the, the switches aren't where I usually would put them on, a, on an Elite Saber. Um, they're actually hidden under these, uh, these rubber uh, grips here. Um, similar to the Saber I did a few years ago, which was a um, Samurai Saber, a Katana style. Uh, this is where the momentary switch is for activation. So you press that in, you get your activation. Very bright blue bra blade. This is a uh, tri uh blue, royal blue, white. So the blue and royal blue are mixed to get a real nice shade of blue for the blade. And of course the flashing clash is a white um, when you clash the Saber. You get the flash and also on uh, Blaster Block. It's set to disable on lockup. And you hold down the button so that the blue blade maintains its blueness. So that's your auxiliary button, is in this other grip on the opposite side. So the user's, user's just gonna have to get used to what, what grip is which. Um, of course you hold it in for a, for a second and a half and that switches off the blade. Um, of course this is a crystal focus version six, so you can toggle between different sound banks by holding in the auxiliary button. So if I hold that down, my fates so I can tap it to toggle through. Calibrate. Calibrate of course is my crystal font so the crystal lights up. If I select that one and then power on the saber, it just gives me the uh, cool sounds as if I was working on a crystal. You get warning sounds if you bang your saber. Um, the auxiliary button gives you different effects. So that's that sound font. Of course, with the kill key out on my, uh, oh, I haven't even shown you the bar graph yet. Um, you've got a, a, a projection lens built in line with the cover tech here, and that projects the uh, the bar graph, how many bars the uh, the battery's on. And of course, when you start up the saber, you've got different bar graph animations that scroll through that will project onto whatever surface is near the saber uh, in that uh, in that lens. Of course, with the kill key out, you can unscrew the saber from this point here. So this part of the saber unscrews. You can get access to, that's the only part of the saber that I permit the user to take apart. There are set screws in here to lock the rest of the saber together. Those should never be tampered with. Um, you've got, of course, your crystal focus. You can see your bar graph. Um, if you want to change the SD card, you can just pop in the kill key like that. A little pressure on the, kill, the uh, SD card there, and it pops right out. Change your sound fonts, put it back in. Of course, you've got your boot sound again, so you know everything's good to go. Gently slide this back on, and this will screw back in. The close-up, I hope you're able to better see the uh, the crystal lit there, um, the blue light. Of course, you've got your blue and your uh, your gold accents in there. So it's it's a nice crystal uh, chassis that's visible through uh, through four of the windows. And uh, the others, of course, are blocked with the, with the switches. You'll notice that the uh, the recharge port lines up really nicely here. This is an O-ring, so if it ever doesn't line up for whatever reason, you can gently turn the pommel to get it to line up. It still is fairly tight, so your saber doesn't vibrate, um, but you can always have that uh, dialed in so it's, it's perfect. Uh, so that's pretty much this saber. I uh, hope the new user enjoys it, and thanks for watching.